Brussels sprouts? What the hell? <laughs> you probably hated these as a kid, but they are delicious if you cook them right. Um, as you get older, you probably uh, try foods that you hated as a kid. And this is one of those that is actually really good if you cook it right. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, first off, we're going to start just by heating up this pan right here. Kind of a, like medium-high heat. And we'll go through this. It doesn't really take too long. So, uh, this is not a low-fat dish. <laughs> we'll start off by telling you that. you got to flavor this thing up. So, we're going to take uh, some bacon here. Probably three, three strips of bacon. Might be watching a lot of these videos because it's... That virus is going around, so trying to create different recipes or whatever. We're just going to cut this up in the chunk size pieces like this. There you go. And we're just going to throw it in the pan and let all that fatty goodness just kind of come out while we prep up our Brussels sprouts. Now these came from Aldi. I think they were like three bucks a bag. Um, it says you could just throw them in the microwave so I guess they're pre-washed but I'm gonna wash them anyway. So um, you don't want to microwave them. That one tastes very good. So let me these off. Alright all we're doing here is cutting them in half. The bigger ones you could cut in the force. But uh, the smaller ones just cut in half and kind of all kind of the same size. I had my dad over for dinner, I think, last year. Maybe longer than that, but uh, made some fish for him and made, the, made this dish with the Brussels sprouts. And he ate them and was like, I really like those. I, I don't like Brussels sprouts. I was, I was kind of iffy about them. But made them good. If you add enough fat to anything, it's going to taste really good. So the uh, What a lot of people do is blanch these. So I'll do that. Blanch means just you, you boil them and then take them off the heat and put them in an ice bath so they'll retain the color. Um, yeah. This is my favorite way to cook them. Oops. Lost one. <laughs> All right, you hear that bacon sizzling? Ooh, doing good, doing good. All right, so it's gonna render down a little bit more, and then we're gonna add. You know, we we'll probably just add them right now. They've already been rinsed off and everything. Get nice and hot. Uh, a little bit of that grease has come out. You might want to let them go a little bit farther, but I'm cool with it. Let's see that. Just pour them all in here. You don't have to use this pan, you can use a different one. If you want. Lost a couple here. And what am I doing for seasoning on these? Seasoning. Of course, crushed back pepper. A little bit of pepper. Alright. Actually, I like a lot of pepper, so. Gives them a lot of flavor. Gives them that little, little bite that you need. Salt. The salt and the bacon, remember that. And a little bit of garlic powder. Now you could, I was just going to do this, but you could um, make them even a little bit better if you wanted to add like, I grabbed this out of the cabinet, cabinet some uh, mint and dill, and then I looked at the mint, and was like, did I put that back in the cabinet? Can you see that? There's nothing in there. There's like one speck. I'll just add that and a little dill. 
but you could this makes it kind of more kind of like a, a Greek Greek or whatever you, you could just add instead of all these this stuff you could just add your favorite like all-purpose seasoning is fine as well so all I'm going to do here is stir this around a little bit get bacon on there Oh, good, that dill weed is getting toasty and smelling good. All right. Now what we need to do, let's go back over here, and I'll show you. Clove of garlic. A big, colossal thing of garlic. We need, um, probably, we're going to get all garlicky here. We can go with, uh, let's say, four, four cloves, about this size. Yeah, there we go. Hold on! You know what, you can just throw them in here just like this if you want. I'm just going to rough chop them. You don't need, need to be all, uh, you know, oops. Organized cutting about this, just kind of keep it rustic style. Get those skins off there, and just kind of just kind of cut them up. Very rough chop, just like that. That's it, right there. Whoops. Throw that in the pan. Oops, sorry. Right. And stir it around. What's going with this dish? See how it's getting all toasted there on the bottom, all that stuff? What is that? So what am I going to have with this dish? Uh, actually, I just got off the grill earlier. I got all this magical meat. <laughs> so I got my choice of what I want. Chicken or, or uh, Italian sausage or that little... I'll we'll have that little uh, filet mignon there in the corner with this. It'd be delicious. Alright, so... Let me put this bacon up real quick. So... Oh, uh, Alright, while it's out there on the grill, I was drinking a beer. So this is going to be like, whoop, <laughs> it's going to be like beer glaze. Now that will take all that, those little bits off the bottom of all that bacon and flavor this up really, really, really well. So, kind of stir that around. Get all those little bits off the bottom. Well, I don't want to turn the fan on, but you won't be able to hear me. So, I'm going to do that. I'll get a lid for this thing, put it on so it'll kind of steam, but you'll still get all that nice bacon y flavor. Let me do that this real quick. This lid I uh, found. Oh, it does fit. Okay. I was thinking it didn't fit right. So, you're just going to let this go. Make sure how much liquid's in there. I want a little bit of liquid in there. It all. Right now, just a little bit more beer. Just want to touch. I mean, not 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 too much liquid in there. And we'll let this cook for about five minutes right here. Just on that medium high heat, it will like steam all that beautiful goodness in there. And then I'll show you how to finish it off. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Just take the lid off here. Put all that goodness. Oh man. It's still a little bit firm. You don't want them to be completely soft, so. What do you do at the last? Just to make them taste a little bit better. Two tablespoons of butter. And we'll just leave it open like this and let that butter dissolve in there and get nice and good.
And that's it. It's, it's like a very easy recipe. That butter just going to add a little bit of thump to it. You've got the bacon on there. Everything is golden, as I would say. It's all melted, turn it off the heat, just kind of stir it around a little bit. Let's plate this bad boy up. All right, there you have it. Look at that goodness. I'm going to taste it real quick here on these. Mm, delicious. Not uh, like super healthy, but at least we're getting some veggies in your diet. So, um, Try this dish. I think you'll really like it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't.